Good morning. It is Tuesday, June 27th, 2023. It's my birthday. I'm 51 years old. So I took the day off. I was going to go running this morning and I've got a dry, uh, like cracked spot on my left foot and it hurts to walk. My feet get dry every once in a while, especially in the summertime. And especially if I'm wearing shoes without any socks, which I spend all day Saturday doing. So um, so yeah, my foot's cracked and it hurt really, really bad. So I was going to run today and then I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to run today. I'm going to walk instead. And then I got to the greenway where I was going to walk and then my foot was still hurting. I said, you know what? I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to take it easy today. And so instead what I'm doing is going on a drive through the country. I'm going through Macon County, Tennessee today, which is the county, I don't know, it's either due east of the county that I live in or northeast of the county in which I live. So I'm gonna, do, gonna be doing some back roads today. Um, I took the day off from work day because it is my birthday and I just felt like taking the day off. I'm 51, pretty sure I'm gonna take the rest of my birthdays off from here on out. So um, I'm gonna spend the day or at least the morning in my Jeep, doing some back roading, going through some streams, going down some dirt roads, getting out into some nature, and just seeing the countryside. So uh, I did get on the scale this morning and I'm down, it's official, I'm down 15 pounds from where I was last year on my birthday. So I'm stupid, stupid, stupid happy about that. and. I'm gonna keep this ball rolling. I feel really, really good, um, which is strange because just nine days ago, I did not feel good at all. I, I felt fat, bloated, whatever. Um, I've been on beef, bacon, butter, and eggs, and I also did a 72-hour sardine fast, and it's amazing the difference that nine days has made. So anyway, I am going to keep that ball rolling. So I'm gonna do some back roading today, and. Uh, I'll show you some cool stuff that I run across. This is another little area a little farther on down the route. Um, not much to it. It is a lot prettier when it's been raining more. It hasn't been raining a whole lot lately, uh, so the water's down. But this is a beautiful little area down here. This is the road that I'm on here. And then obviously the creek goes back over that way. When the creek is up after it's been raining. Like I said, it's just a nice little place. Um, you know, I've been down here several times before, just, you know, coming down, sit down for 10 or 15 minutes, just kind of breathe in all this good oxygen for a little bit and then just, you know, move on. But it's just incredibly relaxing back here. No houses. I'm not sure why there's even a road back here, but really, 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 really tranquil, serene area. Um, and I love hanging out down here. And that's where I'm headed. This is one of my favorite areas out here. Uh, I'm still in Macon County. I'm not sure what town I'm close to, but this little schoolhouse right here, um, I mean, you can tell it's kind of crooked. There's the front door on there. It's been around here for a long, long time and I've been in it before. Um, but I'm always kind of wary that there might be somebody in it. So I'm not gonna go in, in it today, but I've been in it before. There's still desks in there. There's still old school books dating back to the 50s. It's real, real neat little building, uh, but you never know when there's gonna be a crackhead or a meth head and sleeping out in it. So don't really wanna go in there, but uh, this is a really, really neat little old building. Uh, it, it's This is one of the favorite parts of my route right here. All right, this is another one of my little favorite areas. Um, I just turned onto a road called Spring Creek Road. I'm close to the city or town of Lafayette, Tennessee, which is in Macon County. Uh, there's a little church here. It's called Spring Creek Missionary Baptist Church. It's, a, it, it's probably been here for a really long time. Most churches around this area will have on their sign when it was established. 
Uh, this one doesn't, but I'd say it's probably been around for a pretty good while. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the building looks somewhat new, maybe 20 or 30 years old, but I imagine there's been a church here for a good number of years. So just came off of this road, and now I'm going this way, and there's a nice little creek crossing down here. And it looks like this one is a little deeper than some of the other ones. So maybe it's been raining out this way a little bit, but there's the creek going that way, and then it heads on down that way. through stream crossings. Now I'm headed down this way and there's another one a little farther up. enough gravel roads out there today this is another one of my favorite areas in Macon County I'm close to the city of Lafayette uh, and that church right there was founded about 200 years ago um, 1822 so it's 201 years old now obviously that building isn't 200 years old but the body of the church in this area is 200 years old so that church has been here in body for about 200 years. Uh, so I just think that's very, very cool. Uh, I grew up in a little area like this with all kinds of little churches down around through here that are just old and, you know, it's just hard to believe that this area was even settled 200 years ago, um, but it apparently was. But then you come down through here and there's another stream crossing, which I totally love. I don't remember the name of this road, but the creek goes down that way and then back over here and then the road picks up right back over there. So, I mean, I'm obviously going to have to go through it. Look at this. I just crossed the state line over into Kentucky. I'm headed to a little town called Scottsville and just sitting on the side of the road is this little love bug. How freaking cool is that? Kentucky, seriously? All right. I'm in Scottsville, Kentucky and this is Hay Beggars Amish Market. This is Amish country out here. There are a lot of Amish people around here. Um, and then over here, there is a little Amish market. I don't know if they take debit cards or not, uh, but I don't really need anything in here, but it's just a really, really cool little spot. I mean, they have stuff in there literally that's made by Amish people and sold here. So their fried pies are some of the best I've ever had. So anyway, Hay Beggars Amish Market.
All right, that just about wraps up my drive for today. Um, I did some back roading, made it up to Kentucky, saw some cool little Amish country, and now I'm headed back to the house. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my birthday, but whatever it is that I do, I'm not going to do much of it. So I'll catch you guys later.